Okay, hi everyone. Uh, in this video, I'm showing you a lens review of this huge monster. This is the 100 to 400 millimeter uh, Canon lens. It's uh, a variable aperture, so it goes from 3.5, I think, is that what it is? It's 3.5, no, 4.5 to 5.6. Uh, it's an L series lens and it's also got image stabilizing and it's got ultrasonic stuff as well. So it's fat, it should be fast focusing and it should have image stabilizing in it. Uh, but also it's a push and pull version of uh, the zoom function. So you just push it out or you push it in. And it's got a very nice movement to it. But what there is, there's quite a lot of air that comes out the back. So if you have it close up to your camera, you might feel bits of air uh, rushing into your face. You've also got this ability to make it either tighter or looser. So you can have it really tight and it's really difficult to push up and down, or you can have it really smooth, where it just goes up and down. Nice and smooth like that. It's a heavy bit of glass, and I think it's a push and pull because that just means there's less gizmos inside it to go wrong or also make it a lot bigger. So what we'll do is we'll look at a scene just now, and we'll show you the kind of reach that this has on a crop sensor camera like the Canon 550D. Okay, here's an example of using the 100 400 millimeter lens outside uh, and I'm shooting at this very large church which is up over there. Shooting shutter speed, oh, it's pretty good. Um, so what we'll do is let's see, this is at 100 millimeters uh, using a 720p and if we zoom in by me pulling back can get right up into the tower there. So this is at 400 millimeters. Let's get the focusing spot on there. So now you can see the individual uh, statues of angels or whatever at the side of the building. Let's autofocus that, take a photo. Okay, so this is it at f11. If we change the aperture, bring that down to f5.6, still think that is looking. Change the shutter speed up to 180th. I think that is looking really sharp. So, yeah, let's see. That looks really good. And then if we focus on this statue of a man here. Brilliant, brilliant. Now let's see what it looks like when we use the lens, at the, but the video in the movie crop function now. Okay, all I can say is thank goodness this lens has image stabilizing, because I'm actually doing this handheld. This is it at 5.6, looking at that statue there. That looks really good, not seeing too much chromatic aberration. Take a quick photo of him. Oh, it's not letting me take a photo of him. And then uh, if we zoom into the background of the church. Yeah, this is where you really, really want a tripod. And even with the image stabilization on, you're just not going to have a totally smooth focusing at all. But that is pretty. So this is seven times 400 millimeters. Where you can see the individual bricks. That is pretty astonishing. And then you can even see the bird put. Now let's change the aperture a little bit. F11. So that's double the natural aperture. And just look at him. You can see, you can actually see the individual bits of bird poo on his head. Brilliant. And then focusing on the back. Oh. There, there you can see his beard and everything. And then if we zoom back out, this is it at 100 millimeters. Slightly easier to hold still, still definite shake. So at full 720p, again, f11, that's what it looks like. Get it to autofocus, nice and fast there. Let's see how quickly the autofocus is on the guy. Brilliant, really nice and quick there. Let's see how quickly it can autofocus on, let's see this car's number plate, or there. So from a car which is only, what, about 10 meters away, to a church window, which is a good 30 meters away. Nice and quick there. Good autofocus in video mode there. Now to just give you an idea of where I'm actually shooting from, I'll use my 20mm lens. So this is where I'm actually shooting from, just the inside of my car. 
and that with a 20 millimeter lens is what we're looking at. Uh, if we change the aperture down, that's what we're seeing. That's the side of my car. Just in. okay. So this is with the 100 to 400 millimeter f. Uh, 4.5 to 5.6 L series lens with image stabilization uh, and this is us looking up to Arthur's seat which is a big mountain in Edinburgh this is the meadows here and we're just gonna see this is at 100 millimeters and if we zoom and at f11 and let's see what, how far we can see up the mountain when we go all the way out so we'll check the focus again and there I think you can actually see the individual people up on the mountain. That's at 400 millimeters. But what you've got to remember, that's 400 millimeters on a cropped sensor. So that's actually more around about 600 millimeter lens that you're getting there. And what we'll do, we'll do it with the movie cropped mode function, where you get an extra seven times zoom by using just a central 640 pixels. Let's look at that. And there you go, there we can see a person on the top of the hill. You can see the vibrations in my hand. And we can see the camera trying to do some auto-focusing there. That's auto-focus, people coming down the mountain. You can see the tiny little cairn at the top of the mountain. See the people coming down. And you can see that even though it's jittery, there's still smoothness relatively in the uh, image stabilization in the lens. If I were to turn that off, Let's see, let's just get it on the people again. If we turn the image stabilization off, get it to the top of the hill, that is what it looks like. I'm not doing anything differently. That's just how shaky my hand is. I am kind of doing this handheld, but I've got the end of the lens balanced on a piece of metal. Turn the image stabilization on again. And there you go, look at that what a huge difference you get and look at just how sharp it is that is the central 640 by 480 pixels at f11 and 125th of a second that's pretty phenomenal if you ask me let's turn the image stabilization off yeah i don't think even imovie can stabilize this kind of stuff out so there you go then that's it at that's at 100 millimeters in the movie crop, and that's it back up to the 400 with no image stabilization. Get it on again. Cool. There you go. Okay, so this is the area where I was actually having the lens. The lens was just kind of balanced on that and as you see way over there that is the mountain that we were taking the video of. Um, so as you can see that has a huge range you've got especially if you use the uh, the movie crop mode function but uh, yeah so this is where we are and that is where we were. This is where it's probably actually better to manually focus the camera or the lens. Here we seem to have a girl having a little bit of a fight with a, a blue jay, is that what they're called? Okay, so this is the lens zoomed into fully 400 millimeters, and you've got to remember this is on a cropped uh, camera, cropped sensor camera. So, I it's a very 600 millimeter range that we've got here. And if I were to zoom out or zoom this way, this is it at 100 millimeters, and I'm actually shooting my car through my car window there, and I'm actually doing it handheld. So there is fully out at 400 again, and there goes the little squirrel.